Hello YouTube, family and friends. I hope everybody's doing great today. I wanted to cover something uh, just quickly here. If I can do it quickly, you know me. Uh, I kept getting an email uh, from many YouTubers for me to watch a movie that's going around YouTube right now and it's called Unsurvivable. And to be quite frankly, I didn't like the title of it, so I didn't watch it. Several times it came through and I kept seeing it and I would just bypass it, go on to other things because of the word unsurvivable. It has a very negative uh, feel to it. Finally today I thought, you know, just watch it. Just watch it, post your comment, you know, let them know what you think of it. And uh, maybe many of you have seen it. The movie is put together very well. It's a very short movie. It's more a documentary. It's only uh, 35 minutes, I believe it was. And what it's about is this thermo... Uh, oh my gosh, what thermal nuclear some kind of weaponry um, that is actually uh, actually available to use. I'm thinking of a lot of things to say right now, but I'm trying to say this in a very decent way without cussing or cursing. Um, Let's face it, friends. You know, war war is nothing but a very sick, sick game of chess. There is no reason for war. In all my growing up, I lived underneath the threat of war. There were wars and rumors of wars and wars and wars and rumors of wars. As a child, I was taught in school to duck underneath my desk and cover my head up in case the air raid siren went off or we were given the command to do so for our own protection, which, of course, was a joke. But when we would hear that command or when we heard the fire alarm go off or the um, air raid siren, we would pile underneath our desk and we'd cover up our heads and almost wet ourselves. I mean, it scared us kids half to death because we were told what it meant and what it was for, this little ritual that we would do. I can remember sitting and watching our black and white TV with the round screen with my daddy as these atomic bombs were sent set off in the Nevada desert and I would watch in awe as this mushroom plume of smoke came up from the desert floor and I remember vividly looking up at my daddy and saying what is it and he explained to me that it was an atomic bomb test The plume was ominous. It was fascinating and yet it was very scary. Even as a young child, I saw that it was something bad. So I asked my daddy, why? Why do they do that? And he said, sissy, they want to test a weapon to make sure that it will kill thousands of people. Why in the world would they want to kill thousands of people? I'm a child of the Vietnam era. I watched many of our boys go to Vietnam and I watched many not come home. 
We watched it every day on the news. Every day on the television there was something about Vietnam for years. They had the Bay of Pigs. They had the Desert Storm among many other little wars and rivalries. What I come to know is that the war was not my war. That that was a terrible lie. I didn't feel like going to war with anybody. I didn't have a fight with anybody. It was not my war. They say that there is a platform that they work on for peace. Platform of or for peace. War is a contradiction. Has nothing to do with peace. Peace is mind your own business. Peace is take care of your own. But our governments, our leaders, play this sick game of chess with each other. To the point where we live under the threat of the most horrific, frightening weaponry that one can imagine. As if by pushing that button you're going to be the winner. When in reality you push the button in retaliation they push a button because they've got the weapons too. And everything crisscrosses in the sky and everybody dies. Brilliant. Friends, isn't that insane? Isn't that the definition of insanity? And keep in mind this, this thing they call war is not our war. It's not the people's. You know, the woman in the UK that right now is tucking her children in bed or preparing dinner, whatever time it is there, loves those children just as much as I love mine and you love yours. They sit down and gather around a dinner table and eat a meal together, laughing, talking, chatting, or worrying the same as I do. They no more want a bomb to come down on their home than I do. I have no desire to participate in this thing they called, call war. This sick chess game. The woman in Iran feels the same way about her children and her family, her pets, her home, her garden, as I do. She doesn't want war. People do not want war. Yes, some people are very confused. They're confused by the differences that we've been programmed to have. Our leaders for generations have told us how we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to act, what we're supposed to believe. Just like children you know, you can take a child and program a child in your own home to believe whatever it is you believe. And only when that child grows up and starts investigating or studying, researching, 
Does that child find out whether you told him the truth or a lie? Whether you were right or wrong? It's time for the people of the world to investigate and research the validity of the things that our leaders have told us because most of what they've told us is wrong. It's a lie. It's a deception. Not real. The people of the world is where peace will exist. The people of the world want peace. The governments and our programmed military do not want peace because in peace there is no game. They're fooli foolish enough to believe that in this sick chess game of war that there will be winners when in fact we're beyond that. There never has been any winners. No war has ever produced a winner. A white flag perhaps. Never a winner. Nobody won. And there never will be a winner from war. It's time to advance past that. We need to take our leaders and their corrupt thinking and put them out on an island where if our president of the United States has a uh, problem with the president of Russia. Let them fight it out on an island all by themselves with weaponry of fairness like the fist. Let them fight their own battle out on a secluded island away from the people. Leave the people out of it. Leave them alone. War is not ours my friends. Don't buy into it. Don't believe it. It's not ours. You love your families the same as I love mine. You care for them the same as I care for mine. There is no reason to sacrifice your family because of some sick game where no one wins. Unsurvivable is the name. I'm going to put the link down below in the description box. I highly suggest that every, every person, every citizen, every human being in the world watch this 35-minute awakening. It doesn't belong to us. It doesn't belong to us. Peace does. Peace belongs to us. Sure, we're different. Sure, you dress different than I do. The mother in Iran, Afghanistan, Iraq, Japan, China. You dress differently than me. You dress differently than my neighbor. Your climate's different. Your country's different. But you know, if we remove all of that, and if we can undo the programming, if we can get rid of the lies that we have been told, and we realize, honestly realize, that peace is what we want. We don't want war. That's where the answer is. We must not allow this to keep going on. I've had it all my life. You've had it all your life. Some of you have lived in a country where every day has been war for generation after generation after generation. And the wars were between the leaders. We just did what we were told to do. Our military boys do what they're told to do, what they're instructed to do. We should disband the entire lot of it. Let them go out on that secluded island and fight all they want.
it's a pathetic, pathetic, sick game. And there are no winners. None. But through love, genuinely understanding each other, caring about our brothers and sisters in other countries, working together rather than working against each other, not playing their game, not accepting their programming, by undoing the programming, to be as children, to be as children, perhaps then our world has a chance. I hope you agree. And my hope, hope, I love that word. My hope is that the people understand that we are the power. We do not have to accept this anymore. God bless all the world. I love all of you. For you and in your home, I want you to live with the surety and the secure feeling that your home is full of peace and that outside your door there is peace and that you can smile and quit worrying. No more tears. Be happy and love and enjoy the life that you have as it should be. I love you all. Hugs, 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 hugs. And hope, my friends. We need an island and we need to get him out of here. Love you all.